rescue? Yes, sir. Position Fox King 3148. Stand by. Spot that. Yes, sir. Wilco. Fox King, huh? Uh, there's a small infantry patrol on an intelligence mission back of the lines. They've got a man with a leg wound. Now their position will be marked with a yellow X panel right about... Uh, right uh, here. will receive the usual fighter escort. Rendezvous at Yongdong, they'll be at 5,000, and there are jets in the vicinity if you need them. Any questions? No, sir. Lieutenant, remember, you're flying a helicopter, not a jet. Yes, sir. the bear power we've got. And our fighters and bombers will clover them all the way up to the ELU. That means the MiGs will be out in full force, too. Sounds like quite a ball game. <laughs> be a World Series. Now, the General and JOC expect maximum effort from rescue, too. If you've got any weak spots, patch them up now. Wednesday will be too late. We're going all out. Colonel, it seems to me that we go all out every day. Yeah. Now, you here... And the flight up at Island K-83 will be closest to the action. And to any airmen who have to bail out. As well as the usual pickup for frontline wounded. We'll be ready soon. Captain, I have regarded you as my most promising element commander. But I'm disturbed, Captain. I'm disturbed because you have more choppers red X in the last few weeks than any element out here. Sir, I know that our in-commission rate has been way off, but... We've been whipping every chopper we can get our hands on into Korea, even before the paint is dry. Right now, every chopper is worth its weight in diamonds. There just simply aren't enough of them. I can't even give you cover choppers. Every helicopter that's out of action means there's, there's some men out there that we may not be able to pick up. Colonel, every aircraft in this element that's been red X has been ready when we needed it again. We've completed every mission, sir. It's a good thing you have. Otherwise, I'd be relieving you right now. 
In tactical effectiveness, I still have no complaint. But I don't know how long that'll last. Unless your in-commission rate on aircraft improves. And fast. It will, sir. Maybe you fail to impress your pilots with the fact that the helicopter isn't as rugged as a fighter or a bomber. Yes, sir. I'm doing my best, sir. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Russ, how long has it been since you've had a full night's sleep? Oh, I don't know. I suppose maybe... Yeah, well, you want to be careful or you're going to fall right flat in your face. I understand you're taking more rough missions than anybody else in the element. And when you aren't flying... I don't know where you've been hearing that, sir. You're skipping meals and grinding away in here. And then late at night, when you should be getting at least a few hours sleep, you're out with a flashlight checking up on maintenance. How about a week in Tokyo for rest and recreation? Huh? Yeah, that's a good idea, Colonel, but not right now, thanks. All right, Captain. Something's wrong here. Fix it. You can be sure of that, sir. As soon as I heard your captain. Well, let's get back to the taxi. The meter's running. Go on, fellas. Come on, boy. Pedro Abel, this is Rescap Baker. My engine's cutting out. I'll have to leave you. Roger, Rescap Baker. Have your wingman cover you. We're taking off now. Pinwheels carry any weapons. Why do you think we got our fighter cam? What about calling in those jets? Okay, you call them. Meanwhile, I'm going down. You maniac, this isn't a fighter plane. Pardon my leader, this is Pedro Abel. Pardon my leader, this is Pedro Abel.
They didn't? The element of surprise, brother. See, they've stopped. We distracted them. They don't know what they think. Break out the flare gun. Do what? It's just smoke. They might think it's phosphorus. It's hard to tell in the tank. Anyway, it'll help spot them for the fighters. Give them a marker. Let's buy something out of anything. Oh, if I only had a saber. Here we go. Get your tail out of the way. Pull off. Some bullet holes through the rotor blades, and well, there may be some other damage. Can't tell you. You were lucky your gas tanks weren't hit. Yeah, yeah. I hope Russ thinks it was just routine ground fire we ran into. What he doesn't know will never hurt him. Don't mention that tank, and I guarantee you, you'll never hear another word about it. Of all the idiotic, maniac, lunatic stunts just for a useless glory grab, this one takes the prize. I couldn't believe my ears when the reports came in. Trying to turn your chopper into a fighter plane. That's right. I ought to hang you out at the end of one of those rotor blades and let it spin. You, Tim, why didn't you stop him? He couldn't. As first pilot, I exercised my command authority. Command. You aren't fit to command a pinball machine. Somebody had to get down there fast, Captain. Others were on hand to take care of that. Your escort of fighter planes. Why do you think they give every chopper a fighter, Captain? Mister, if you'd done it our way, those infantry boys would have received all the help they needed just as fast and with this one difference. Instead of being all fouled up by unnecessary battle damage, your chopper would be sitting out there right now, ready for the next poor Joe back of the lines who might need it. One of those choices? No, Lieutenant. It wasn't one of those choices. I've tried every way I know how to pound through your head why those choppers must be flown the way we say. 
How many times have I told you in the past six weeks that this is an air rescue outfit? Not a playground for frustrated hot rocks. Sir, I'm a jet pilot. I was trained to be one, I think like one. There's nothing else I want to be. I didn't volunteer for helicopters. You can get rid of me anytime. Don't you push the panic button on me, Lieutenant. And by the way, you should hear some of the other fellows beefing about having to fly with you. They're beefing. What about my beef? I arrive in Japan with my jet squadron. And the next thing I know, I'm over here flying choppers. Why? Because I made the sad mistake back in 1949 having some helicopter training. So instead of being up there in the batter's box, you make me a boy down here hustling a water bucket. Lieutenant, you haven't been around the Far East Command long enough to be aware of it. But over in Tokyo, you walk into a bar full of jet pilots. They find out you fly helicopters, and I got news for you. You can't pay for a drink. Nobody admires jet pilots any more than I do. But this war isn't being fought for your convenience or for mine. You are transferred here by personnel in Tokyo for the good of the service. Because right now, the scarcest thing in the Air Force happens to be helicopter pilots. Helicopters, choppers, pinwheels. Those things were invented by an army barber to give GI haircuts. And some joker discovered they could fly. Well, I want no part of them. Let me get back to jets. Let me buy the drinks. Transfer me. How many times do I have to ask you? Will you bounce me out? No, because you're needed here. And as long as you're needed here, here you'll stay. And you'll do the job you're supposed to do the way you're supposed to do it. Our way. The air rescue way. The stuff is in you. I know it's there and I intend to bring it out. Whether I want to stay or not, huh? Sure, I could take the easy way out. Have your court martial transfer you, pass you along to some other element commander, let you be his headache, be a cinch, a breeze. But I'm not ducking anything, not even you. Now, I'm not going to have you court martial because you didn't directly disregard any order. I'm going to hit you with an Article 15 instead. There'll be a fine hand for the time being. That's all I intend to do about that. Sir, look, I could do a jet squadron a lot of good. And according to you, I'm not doing your outfit any good at all. Lieutenant, let's get one thing very, very clear. I personally am going to make you the air rescue pilot you ought to be and can be. I personally am going to put you over every jump, through every hoop, sweat you through every rough mission until you know what the score is. Until you know why every man here wouldn't be in any other outfit in the entire United States Army, Navy, Marine Corps, or Air Force. Until you know what the air rescue service means, not only to us, but to the men we pick up and bring back. And to their families, too. Until you're living and breathing air rescue in every single pore. Until you're proud to carry that water bucket with rescue on the side of it. And I intend to do that even if it kills me or you. You're dismissed, Lieutenant. Sergeant. Good morning, Captain. How is he? Got a patched up, sir. Found all the parts I needed. That's good. Captain, it'll still show in our form one and... Well, you know, uh, another chopper, Red X, when Colonel Stoneman looks over our reports. I know. Well, sir, I could just as easily... No, no, Joe, that's all right. Don't you cut any corners for me. Just include it with the rest. Yes, sir. Is she ready to test off? Yes, sir. I'll check her out myself.
Nice going, Joe. I don't know what we do without you. You can refuel her and take her off Red X. You sure wrung it out, sir. Yeah. Oh, uh, Joe, has Lieutenant Stacy been around at all to see how things were going? No, sir. Well, I'm afraid not, sir. Well, you know, he might have had a couple of things. Yeah. You passed the word that I want to see him in my quarters. Yes, sir. A uh, little communication came in this morning from headquarters to all rescue elements. I, uh, I thought I'd share it with you. Here. Suppose you read it. Out loud. Nice and loud. To all helicopter elements, flying safety is the business of every officer and man in this command. At the same time that the general is trying to develop a larger and stronger air rescue service, he is demanding that his pilots fly safely. Look, I've heard all of this. Keep reading. A rescue aircraft which is out for repairs or which crashes before it reaches a distressed pilot... Now comes the sentimental part. ...because some clown is flying it, is no good to anybody. A safe flying aircraft can carry out its job as a matter of routine. Look, do I have to... Right down to the last period. Every rescue mission has risk enough without adding unnecessary ones, period. Signed, Lieutenant Colonel Philip Stoneman, Squadron Commander, alias Mr. Bear Trap himself. He, uh, he paid us a little visit yesterday while you were out playing helicopter hopscotch with that tank. I, uh, I thought you might have noticed the walls are still scorched. Does that take care of today's hoop, sir? As a matter of fact, that has nothing whatsoever to do with what I called you about. I'm uh, flying up to K-76 tonight for an hour or so. They brought in some new jet pilots from Japan for the big strike. They're from your old outfit. I'm briefing them on rescue techniques and thinking it over this morning. I thought you ought to come along. Me? Well, I can't think of anybody better qualified to tell your old buddies what air rescue is all about. How important rescue can be to a pilot when the chips are down, especially if he, uh, if he knows his techniques and sticks to them. Look, sir. There's a lot of men in this outfit better qualified for this job than me. Lieutenant, I wouldn't dream of having anyone else go along. I admire the way you carry a movie projector. Yes, sir. No, thanks, Marty. Well, Pete, how do you like it in air rescue? Oh, it's very educational. I attend more lectures than I ever did at college. How are you coming, Lieutenant? I guess that's got it. Ready, sir. Men, before we brief you on our procedures, we're going to run off some familiarization film on rescue aircraft. Lights, Lieutenant, if you don't mind. Thanks, Danny. It's always nice to know the equipment you can count on. Sorry, wrong films, but... Mighty nice equipment. Now that we know you're paying attention, here we go. The first helicopter's on record. They look as if they needed rescuing. Efforts came efforts like these. This is a Navy rescue. The Marine 
Marines and the Army, as well as the Air Force, are all developing the uses of choppers, and experiments like these have given way to ships like these. Now, Air Force air rescue involves much more than the helicopter. As situations require, we utilize a specially equipped SB-29. Outfitted to drop the A-3 airborne lifeboat, courtesy of the Air Force Yacht Service. As well as that magnificent all-around workhorse, the SA-16 Albatross, which you'll get to know as Dumbo. These aircraft will be on strip alert or orbiting over the water areas whenever you're flying. seeing us around a lot in the H-5 or its bigger brother, the H-19. Now, above all, don't forget this little item. Your URC-4 radio transceiver. Without it, we couldn't have made 90% of the behind-the-line pickups accomplished thus far. Now, I'd like to present someone who understands your problems as well as ours. Someone you all know, Lieutenant Pete Stacy, himself a retired jet pilot. Okay, Come on, let's go. Well, it's uh, <clears throat> nice to be back visiting. There's not an awful lot I can add to what Captain Edwards has already told you. We'll do a job for you if you'll give us a break by sticking to the procedures as Captain Edwards has said. Oh, yeah, one thing. We don't want you to have any false pride. I mean about calling in air rescue. We're here to serve, so don't wait until the last minute to let us know that you need help. Even if you think you can make it back without having to bail out. Oh, another thing. If you can, always bail out over water so that the Dumbos or SB-29s can help you too. Well, yeah, but suppose we can't make it to the sea, Pete. Well, Smiley, in that case, when you hit the ground, you'd stay under cover while you wait for the chopper to arrive. When it arrives, you head for the center of the clearing, Release your smoke flare to indicate wind direction. When the chopper lands, get in as fast as possible. Don't let the soup spill over. If there are any reds, the fighter cap will beat up the area with machine gun fire, rockets, napalm before we can come in. You see, the helicopter carries no armament whatsoever. Its sole purpose is to get in and get you out. And nothing else. You might want to mention the speed angle, Pete. Oh, yes. These uh, choppers of ours, they don't quite go around breaking the sound barrier. They go about one-sixth as fast as a jet. And sometimes they look like a cow jumping off a rock. So be patient, fellas. As you can see, we've got our limitations. You know how it is. Now, any time you fellas get too cocky about being hot rock pilots, Pete and I just want you to ask yourselves one thing. Can you make your planes fly backwards? Thanks, Lieutenant. That was well done. I'm sure these men know that they can count on you and on every man like you. Now, there's one last thing. The range of the chopper is limited. So we have an advance element permanently stationed way up here on an offshore island that we've been able to hold. Its code name is K-83. As you can see, it's very deep in enemy territory. They try to night bomb it frequently, and every mission out of there is usually a rugged one for air rescue. So we like to feel that it is manned by our most dependable pilots. And for that reason, I'm assigning one more good man there tomorrow. Lieutenant Stacy. I'm sure you know that he'll never let you down. Attaboy, Pete. Attaboy. 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 We're with you, Pete. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you, Colonel Humphreys.
glad you got here before I left. Well, but on the move. Looks like intelligence was right. You were just in time for the opening of the ball game. Oh, I'm sorry to send for you at the last minute, but I figured with all this heavy activity, I ought to have you up here with rescue control. Can uh, Jeff Brown handle your K-5 from that element for today? Yes, sir. He's right on top of it. Good. How are things up at the island? Well, I'll bet Jack Charlie dropped a couple of bombs last night. Didn't hit anything. I'll bet our pilots have better aim today. We're ready set up for this one. Medium bombers coming in from Japan, Okinawa. Jets from the offshore carriers and the marine bases. F-51s from the Australian Air Force. South African, Canadian. Our own Sabre jets and fighter bombers. Maximum effort all the way down the line.
take him. He's a cinch. You see that guy at 3 o'clock? Right away, old boy. That chap's all mine. Real cool to Dipsy Doodle. I'm sitting on your shoulders. Jake Sector, grid 4168. Blue Boy 3, Mayday. Blue Boy 3, this is rescue control. Can you make it to the ocean? Over. No, hydraulic trouble. Over. Okay, boy, we'll send you a ride. Keep radio contact with your wingman. You'll make it. This is rescue control. Priority to chopper at K-8-3. Pete, we've got one. Blue Boy 3. Got it. Rescap will be White Knight leader with three chicks. Roger. All right, now leap off. And try not to get yourself into anything you can't get out of. All right. One out from flight D at K-59. This is Blue Boy 3. Can you read? Can you read? Major Abel, this is Blue Boy 4. Positive identification on Blue Boy 3. Parachute marker in valley. Seems quiet. We'll watch for you. Roger, Blue Boy 4. Approaching Baker Jig Sector. How's our passenger? Not even suffering from nervous exhaustion. Rescue control, this is Pedro Abel. Pickup completed. Over. Pedro Abel, this is rescue control. Can you handle other pickups now? Over. Sure, if we could use sweat for fuel. 
and just about make it back to K-3. Roger. Return to base. Rescue control. Mayday, Russ. Base Joker 2 on Dog Channel. I've got another Mayday beat from JOC. Go on, home. Larry, bail out. I'm all right, I tell you. I can make it back to base. You've got a fuel leak. You're losing altitude. You'll hit the mountains. Leave it. I don't want to jump. Stick with me. I'll make it back. Lazy Joker 2. This is Rescue Control. Do you read me? Rescue Control. This is Lazy Joker 2. Read you. Five Square. Over. Head for water. Over. My raft shot up. You've got a May West. Head for Area Zebra. Choppers and Dumbos are committed. An SB-29 will drop you a lifeboat. I've never bailed out before. I'll make it back to base. Rescue can't help you if you don't do what we say. Head for water. Don't worry, boy. Your buddies will stick with you. Tempting you, Sam. No. Trying sure as shooting. Roger, Clover. Keep me advised. have a chopper. Without a chopper, he's had it. Rescue control, this is Lazy Joker 1. What are you going to do about Lazy Joker 2? Over. I'm diverting an SA-16 from K-74. He won't last that long. And what if the Dumbo can't land? Then what? Send a chopper. The choppers from K-83 are out. They're low on fuel. Can't scratch him off like he was nothing. He's drifting out to sea. We'll have to depend on the SA-16 to make the pickup. He'll be dead by then. Maybe not. Keep him spotted as long as you can. Rescue control. This is Pedro Abel. Over. Rescue control to Pedro Abel. Go ahead. It's a long chance, but I might make that pickup. You haven't got the fuel. He's too far off your course. I can try. Rescue control. This is Lazy Joker 1. Let the chopper try it. Hey, be gambling the works, including the man he just picked up. The answer is no. Pedro Abel, this is rescue control. Return to K-83, refuel, and then back up the Dumbo. It'll take too long. Slats, get the sling ready for a pickup. Break out your zoomies, sir. You're going for a swim. But you can't. Even if we pick them up, how can we get back? What are you trying to do? Pick up a drowning jet pilot that might have been me. Find him faster, we'll be down there with him. 
Right. You see him? Yes. Out there about three o'clock. Looks like he's passed out. Join the Air Force, not the Navy. How's your patient? Well, I've seen worse. He'll pull through all right. Provided we can get him to a hospital before too long. We'll get him to a hospital. Oh, on our backs. We can't reach the island. We're running on fumes now. I'll pull into the first gas station, I see. Brother, well, I'd hate to be in your shoes when Russ goes to work on you this time. Rescue control. This is Lazy Joker 1. Rescue successful. Lazy Joker 1, this is Rescue Control. How was pickup made? A helicopter. Your chopper man did a great job. Thanks. Well, we'll be short one chopper at the island. For how long? I don't know. Maybe for good. Gas or enemy territory, an injured guy in the back, and he says, Relax. White Knight Leader, this is Pedro Abel. We're low on gas. Stick close, over. That's what I've been looking for. Part of a truck convoy they clobbered this morning. You do, it, you right? Could be. Tank should be well up now. Running gas from a commie truck trying to fly a chopper on it'll roll the engine. 
Five men are worth more than one engine. Sure, but it won't work. You still got a couple of gallons of good aviation fuel in the aft tank. We'll get airborne with that and then switch over to the truck gas. Hey, Slats, any sign of trouble? No sweat, sir. I don't see a thing. How you doing? I won't be long. Okay, let's fire up. Ready to come in, Slats. Oh, very well. Switch over to the truck fuel. Maybe this is one case where every knock is a boost. You see, crepe hanger, what did I tell you all along? There wasn't a doggone thing to worry about. Rescate three. This is rescue control. Go ahead, K-3. Oh. Lieutenant Stacy, I heard you made it. I'm back at base with two rescued men. One needs hospitalization. I'll have a dumbo in there in ten minutes. The same one that arrived to pick that man out of the sea not five minutes behind you. I see. Right now, you're my favorite candidate for meathead of the month. How did you make it back? I, uh, I worked it out. Well, we'll talk about that tomorrow. I should live till tomorrow. How's your chopper? It's okay, I guess. It got us back all right. So long, sir. You look like you had a rough time out there. Stretched my luck mighty far today, Jerry. Maybe I stretched it so far it's gonna snap right back and knock my teeth out. Oh, this crated. You ought to have a compression check before it goes up again. Maybe even a new engine. What if you just drained the truck fuel, cleaned out the tank, put in aviation gas? Would anybody know the difference? The next guy who flies it. Well, then, uh, I'd better be the next guy. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. You didn't get in trouble picking me up. Trouble? Our commander loves him like a brother. Yeah, like Cain loved Abel. Tim, Slats, can I see you outside a minute? Sure. Lieutenant, would you holler if he needs me? Sure, sir. Look, 
Look, fellas. I guess I really fouled up on that truck gas deal. Joe thinks the engine's in pretty bad shape. That's what I tried to tell you. Look, if that chopper has to go up before a replacement arrives, I'm taking it up. It may be a tricky ride, so I'd rather take it along. You're the boss, sir. Hey, Gus, they beat up your chopper? Yeah, I got one bad blade and a bullet hole in the aft fuel tank. I'm going to call Russ. Looks like uh, you're in the barrel, sir. Well, the replacements fly in. Looks like yours is the only chopper that might get off the ground. I guess I had it coming to me. I'll try my best to fix your chopper up, sir. I'll work on it all night. Thanks, Joe. Rescue control, priority to chopper at K83. Pete, we got one. Now, intelligence indicates your best route is north of Long Chow at 3,000 feet. Avoid the MSR and good luck. Joe, I gotta push her a long ways. You think she'll hold up? Well, we've done the best we can do here, sir. She may get a little sticky, can't tell, but, well, she ought to be okay. Thanks a million, Joe. Pedro Abel. Have you located your man yet? Pedro Abel, this is Popeye Junior Leader. Pete, this is Danny. Smiley's down there. I made a positive identification. Go on down and get him. Did you spot any reds around? No, the place seems as quiet as a churchyard. How sure are you? Oh, come on. I said it's okay. Pick him up. Danny, those commies hide under rocks. You've always got What to... are you waiting for? I'll go in and make a slow pass. If there are any commies down there, they'll take a shot at me. Jockeys. Can't reason with them. Pete, there's nothing down there except Smiley waiting at the bus stop. It's your move. Roger. Smiley, this is Pete. How does the ground look for a landing? Very rough. Roger, boy. It'll be a sling pickup. Head for the center of the clearing and give me the smoke. Roger, Dodger. Hey, did you see that? Looked like a windshield reflection from a truck or a jeep. Yeah, what do you think? I don't know. See, I was in this valley once before and the place is blazing. I don't like it. It's too quiet. I can see the pilot jumping and waving. It was Smiley, all right. Used to be my wingman. Wasn't a sign of anything else down there. 
But I could have sworn that reflection came off a windshield. My friend isn't using a signal mirror. I don't like it. Pete, you're getting chicken? That smiley down there. I know it. I saw something on that hillside that glinted. Could be a windshield. And it could have been a stream or a brook or a puddle of water. Talk to Smiley. He'll tell you it's safe. Popeye Junior 3. This is Pedro Abel. Pete, am I going to walk home or are you going to pick me up? Just want to make sure, Smiley. You see any movement around any of that brush or over by those trees? Look carefully. Sure, sure. There's nothing over there. Keep your eyes peeled. If you're yellow, say so. If you don't go down, I'll shoot you down. Danny, line up with the fighter cap. You may have better targets than me. Come on! I still don't like it, Tim. Just a hunch. Hey, do you think they might be using it as a decoy for an ambush? That's exactly what I was thinking. Still, he's a buddy of mine, Tim. What do you think Russ would tell us? I think he'd say this was a risk that we had to take. I think he'd say this is what we're here for. Good. I owe Smiley at least one try. Let's go down. Sluts, we're going in. when he said every rescue mission has risk enough without adding unnecessary ones. Well, you live and learn. If you live. Fighter cap that Pete's been hit in the chest. He needs a doctor before he can be moved. Doc Larson has volunteered to go. He's waiting at the chopper. I'll fly this one myself. Harry, you're co pilot. Now let's go. You'll have to work fast. Russ, I'll need at least 20 minutes without interruptions. Can you arrange it? I'll do my best. Hi, Russ. Hi, Pete. 
I brought you that water bucket personally. Full of plasma. I may need it. Thanks, Ross. Yeah, you're going to be all right. You haven't bought the farm yet. We spotted us probably headed this way, looking for a wrecked chopper. What about fighter cap blasting him? Not too soon. Some of them will still filter through. Look, camouflage everything you can. Stick by the radio. When the dock is finished, give us a call. We come back and pick you up. All right. I'll set up a false cap, send them to the far end of the valley, see if that'll divert them. If that doesn't work, there's one more thing we can try. Well, anything, as long as we'll keep them away from here. You've been a city duck. Huh? Well, you're going to be one now, so let's go. Pedro Baker, this is Pedro Abel. We're under sniper fire. Can you give us any positions? We'll leave the fighter cap in on top of them. Oh, I can't see them. They're well hidden. No idea where. Well, the cap can't do us any good if you can't spot the targets. We'll try. Watch for us. What now? We're going to give them a target they can't miss and hope that they do. How much 
minutes longer. Ten minutes. Doc says he'll need ten more minutes. Fire's still coming in. That was close. Can't you see anything? Not a thing. We got fighter cap prime now. If you spot any movement, we'll call out. you'll give us the cooperation we need. I uh, used to be a jet jockey myself, till a, an important little thing called good of the service came up. So I know how little most of you know about the problems of air rescue. And now I'd like you to see some films about our aircraft. Captain, the lights, if you don't mind. It's always wise to know the equipment we have ready for you. Oh, sorry, long film, but uh, mighty nice equipment. Now that we know you're paying attention, here we go. 